Street Talk! Yeah! Welcome to Street Talk. I'm your host, Jason, and this is for Wednesday, December the 17th. Wednesday night NBA action. Toronto Raptors hosting the Brooklyn Nets. Now, the prop is, will Toronto win by double digits versus a net single-digit loss or, of course, the victory? Looking at the line, Toronto minus 11. So if we tease that down to 9.5 to give us sort of a sense of where the prop is, Toronto is a minus 150 favorite. So slight, you know, okay favorite as far as when we just look at the raw betting data. Uh, but when we look at the statistics, it tells a similar story. Toronto second in the league in adjusted offensive efficiency. So that is, how many points do they score per 100 possessions? They're second in the league only to Dallas. Meanwhile, Brooklyn, an older team, an aging team, not an, as an athletic of a team. They're much more challenged to score points. They are 22nd in the league in that statistic. They are pretty good on the boards. The 82-year-old ageless wonder, Kevin Garnett, 17th in the league in rebounding. And as a team, uh, along with Mason Plumlee uh, making some contributions, Brooklyn 14th in the league in rebounding. Toronto not quite as good at 24th. But looking at uh, adjusted defensive efficiency, so how many points allowed per opponent's 100 possessions, Toronto 11th in the league, pretty good. Uh, Brooklyn a little bit further down at 22. So Toronto much easier for them to score and they're holding opponents to a much lower uh, scoring rate. So it serves them pretty well, at least in this sort of prop. Now, Toronto, uh, first in the East by half a game over Washington. And they've done that by beating up on teams with poor records. They're 11 and one versus teams that are under 500, which Brooklyn falls into that category. Injury-wise, though, we do have they do have their star player Demar Derozan, who's out with the uh, torn left groin tendon. Right, I don't want to talk about that too much, or I might pass out. So, how have they made up for that? Lowry, Kyle Lowry, has been picking up the uh, scoring slack. He's 18th in the league in scoring. They've been other getting um, contributions from Patrick Peterson and uh, Amir Johnson. Even Tyler Hansborough coming off the bench, giving him some uh, minutes in the seconds and fourth quarters or whatever. But uh, Brooklyn, as I said, not nearly as adept at scoring the ball. They don't even have anyone in the top 35 in scoring. So Toronto playing at home, it seems like they're uh, poised to win by double digits. But let's go just a step further. They combined this year and last year's record, as I said, Brooklyn is a bit of an older team, so it's it goes to uh, reason that back-to-back -back games are going to give them a problem, and that comes out when we look at their record on back-to-back -back games last year and this year, 7-15. and 15. Now, while that doesn't quite tell us about this prop, it does tell us that their legs tend to wear down. So, one thing to keep an eye on as this game goes along. Now, Toronto... 11 and 0 when they hold teams under 100 points. So again, that seems to support them winning by double digits because we're t they're facing a team that has trouble scoring the ball and when they do have trouble scoring the ball, Toronto ends up winning those type of games. Now for a lot of you guys I know a lot of you guys out there bet, etc. I know some of you guys get involved in sort of the live betting, but this also serves these statistics also serve to help if you are locked in on this game and you're on a losing streak or you, you're not sure maybe you wanted to get a different game in later in the night as far as forfeiting four streak for the cash here's a couple statistics the Nets are nine and one this year when leading after three quarters they are one and eleven when trailing after three quarters so that, that could come in very handy for live betting and it could also come in handy if you need to forfeit. Maybe you took the nets and, and they're down going into the third quarter. Maybe it, the game's going to get away from them. Conversely, Toronto, they have won 34 straight home games when leading after three quarters. So we could have a very good litmus test 
at the third quarter mark. Give us an idea of whether to maybe place a live bet or whether to stick with the prop, etc. So that's just something to think about. I'm going to take Toronto for the green. I think they get it done with double digits. And as I said, Brooklyn, an older team, really having trouble on these back-to-back -back games. They played last night. They lost to Miami at home. A Miami team that didn't even have Chris Bosh. So really, Brooklyn struggling this year. Three games under 500. I think their entire team's on the trading block. I think their Russian owner is willing to trade anyone and everyone. Just doesn't set up for them to come into one of the best teams in the East, one of the better teams at home, and keep it close or pull out a victory. So for me, Toronto for the green. I am going to mention that I'm going to be going on a mini pre-Christmas vacation these next few days. So I'm going to try and bring you Streak Talk. It's not going to have the nice... Uh, professional lighting and the curtain and all this stuff. It's going to be, I'm going to try and do it live on location. I don't know if I can get it done. We'll see how the quality comes out. Might have to close your eyes and listen to the audio only if I can even get it done. But hopefully I'll be able to. Hopefully you guys, if I can't do it, you can navigate the waters without me or, or at least hold on to these uh, good streaks that you guys have been building. So I hope you enjoy this one. Hopefully we will see you in the next few days. If not, We'll see you right before Christmas, all right? Enjoy it. See you next time on Street Talk.